Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh, um, welcome. Um, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I created this top. It was quite a simple, easy DIY and you know, if you like basic staple pieces then I think this would be a really, you know, great addition to add to your wardrobe, to your summer wardrobe. Also, I saw this on Instagram and I was like, I definitely would like to buy it. However, okay. Oh, it's £14 now. Um, okay, well, the top wasn't £14 at the time and I just thought, do you know what? This doesn't look like too hard of a challenge for me to do. So why not just give it a go and see how this goes, basically. So I would definitely DIY this. It's literally, you can get this done in probably an hour or two. I used, I used a viscous. So, okay, so just to clarify, the material that I used was Ponte Roma Viscous. I know I'm butchering that, but basically it's stretchy, um, it's four-way stretch, it has a four-way stretch, but it's not soft, like it's not soft viscous. It's a bit rigidy, and you can tell because like it's able to keep the shape. Can you see that? If this was like a, a, another viscous, then it would probably like stick to my skin it'd be like jersey material but this viscous is quite sturdy which was really good for this type yeah if you're interested i mean i had this fabric left over that's why i was able to make this top but i actually got the fabric from ebay um i'll leave the link in the description so yeah if you decide to make this top please let me know share your recreations with me and um i guess i'll see you in my next video Hi. Okay, so I will be using my O Poly dress because it already has the shape that I would like to use. So um, I'll be tracing out the dress onto my fabric, but I will only be using the top half. I'm adding a half an inch seam allowance. To make sure that our top is equal on both sides, I will be I will be measuring the midway point um, from side to side, and here it's twelve inches, so we know that half of twelve is six, so six inches is my midway point, and I'm just marking that down, and then I will take my ruler and I will extend that line, and then I will join the points from both sides to the midway point. Okay, and now I will be adding about half an inch seam allowance. So here I'm doing the exact same thing for the other side.
if in order to create the back pieces what you need to do is you need to keep your template straight and um, then you can cut out your back pieces you don't need to line up this edge of your template to the edge of the fabric the reason being our backs are naturally curved um, so having a straight seam will kind of make the top wonky when it's on I don't know if I've explained that right but you'll see just sewn everything together um, I've just sewn the side seams together and as you can see I have two of the same um, pieces and what I will be doing is sewing all around the side seams and I'll leave an opening to flip it inside out so to create the straps all you need is two very long pieces of fabric um, it doesn't have to be too accurate. I actually use my overlocker. I use my overlocker to kind of neaten things up, but my straps were about half an inch wide once they were folded. Now I fed through my straps into the openings of the top and now I'm flipping it inside out. Now, in order to feed through the straps, I will sew alongside the edge of my top and then I will cut open the seam at the top and the bottom and I will feed through my straps in the middle. As opposed to folding it over and sewing through four layers of fabric, it will not hold. My sewing machine is not that strong. Here I am just feeding through the straps into and there you have it. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah, Chanel, let me put this on. Okay.